Kezzy here today, and I'm going to be doing some dungeon lockpicking. Um, if you don't know what that is, it's where you go around in dungeons and you basically just lockpick usually the level 4 chests, sometimes the lower ones as well, and then loot everything out of them. Um, and you can choose to just take the gold or you can take the gems, a whole bunch of stuff. So what I do is I actually have two separate loot bags. Um, I have one that loots most of the stuff and then a second loot macro that will go through and loot all of it, or most of it, not the lower level scrolls. Uh, it just takes all the higher level scrolls that can be sold for better money and then all the magic weapons, because I just do kind of a sell-all thing for those. Um, so this is the Ice Fiends room. Um, and there's more chests over here. Yeah, so those two that just read um, as a wooden chest and a crate, I can go unlock those as well if I don't get killed. Yeah, nothing attacked. So... This is a unusual character build here. Most people don't run around and uh, do a parry dex or with lock picking, but I do. Right. So I got rid of the evil mage pretty easily. Um, so if you don't know, you can lock pick most chests and then take one step back and then use the. Um, take a step back and it just opens opens it up and triggers the trap without you taking damage. I'll show you on this one. So unlock at one tile away and then you step so you're two tiles away in any direction and it'll set off the trap without you taking damage. And the second macro So there is a chest here I can get, but I'm not going to bother right now because I don't want to fight an ice fiend. And then I need to see if anyone's dragged to the... oh no, they're still home. Um, sometimes people drag the white wire off to get the level 4 chests up there. And if someone else has already done that, then I'll, uh, I'll go try to open it. But no one's done that, so I'm going to leave it. And then there's more chests in here. Uh, those ones you can't open see what else there is. There's some back here, but the spawn's usually pretty rough. Oh, this area is not terrible right now. I don't really need to kill that slime thing. Nope, someone's coming. That's a red I'll be able to recall out. Hmm. Nope, oh, that's a red. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna get out to the next location. On this character, it is that one. There we go. Um, yeah, I just don't need to tangle with a red right now, especially with my reflect down. Speaking of which, let's put that up back up. Someone has dragged the rotten corpse out of here. Um, oh, that's not the chest. Yeah, so other people will drag. Um, monsters away from the level 4 chests, like I was talking about with the white wire, just so they can come and pick it safely. And that's fine by me right now. And then hit this macro. 
since that one is completely emptied. There were no scrolls in it that got left behind. Um, so I'm going to head on to the next location here on foot. Straight across the liches. Hello, liches. And we'll see. And the dragon's pretty close to that. And I can kill a dragon on this character. It's just going to take a while. Anyways, there's two good chests to loot right there. Um, in the interest of time, I'm not going to go through fighting a dragon at the moment. Let's go over here. Oop. This way. So there has always been a really great room to loot over here, if I can get to it without running into everything. Here we go. <coughs> this one has um, three places to loot from. Three chests, at least. Let's see. So there, there. it's, it's going to be this one. There's usually like a keg or a, a crate or something in here. my uh, weight. I don't want to get overweight on this character. And I believe this one's a level 4 chest, yeah. Because I failed this character's Bring up the skills just because. Show and all right. So this character, I'm going for GM lock picking. One day I'll get there. I just got to keep doing the level four chests over time. Oh, I think there's a world save maybe. Yeah, that's weird. I might have hit the wrong key for my restock. Let's try that again. There it goes. And then the second restock grab all the other items. Let's see what I have in here. So this bag just looks like a pile of junk, which is exactly what I'm going to treat it like. I'm not going to ID anything. I just go and sell it. Um, hmm. So before I go sell it, I'm going to show you this room down here. This is one of the newer treasure rooms. I'm going to be showing a few of these in this video. Um, you can run around dungeons and you'll randomly see some system messages like you notice a small switch on the wall appear from the shadows um, and so I'm going to click that switch which actually disappears when uh, you're not close to it that's not the case for all items like that but for that one it is anyways so you hear a grinding noise in the distance and what that noise is, is this wall rising up. And once it gets to the right height, you can go through. And a treasure chest will appear. Oof. A very painful one of that. We'll loot that stuff. So there's a few piles of gold in these, but it, in total it adds up to like maybe a thousand, usually less. Let's see, got bandage running. Let's see if I, I do have a strength potion, I have a few of them. So with that strength potion, I can go ahead and loot some more of this stuff. 
And there's actually a second chest in here. And this one um, is a little tricky. How much gold is in this thing? Oh, yeah, only about 400. So it looks like a lot, but it's not that much. I'm just going to do the main loot from this one. <coughs> Sorry. Um, can't hold the gold. That's fine. Anyways, so that is this place, and uh, there's a level lever here again to raise the door in case you can't get out. But I am definitely overweight. I'm gonna go do my aqua cell thing real quick. Make sure my weapons are armed, and then I I recall into the um, the tannery, so I can just start selling stuff like any leather items I've gathered. And I'll just keep these bags open as I do my sell thing. Let's get the gold out here. Um, so I just, I did a little over 3,000 in terms of that little run. Okay, now the items are disappearing fast. Let's see if I'll sell you anything. Alright, so that's all I can sell to them. And then I hit the provisioner up here who will buy gems and stuff. So you'll see more disappear from this pack. And I'm not going to, like, save up to get maximum amount out of the gems or anything. Cut these for bandages just because. Alright. Um, and so I have a few extra scrolls here. Blank scrolls that I use to make, like, uh, stuff with inscription. So I'll keep those. Um, let's see. Shoot, you know what? I should actually just have everything going into the one pack. Because I need to drop these more quickly. Hang on. So what I like to do is also sell all these scrolls. Um, and you don't get a lot for the scrolls, but it's enough to make it worth looting them. Oh, and then the bone armor has no uh, has no buyers these days. I'll just drop that. All right, so then you end up with not a whole lot extra. What I really should have been doing is throwing all my regs into this one as well. Keep the reflex scrolls. Don't mind me, I'm just sitting around Aklo Bank with a huge amount of gold on me. Alright, that should be good. So then I'll just drop this pack here, and then grab another one. Drop the gold, of course. And then my weight should be should be lower than that. What am I holding that's so heavy? Um, I don't know. It's not that many heal potions. All right, whatever. Yeah. I try to keep it under a hundred weight when I exit. Do I have that many recall scrolls on me? Not that many. Oh well. Yeah, that gets the weight down to about 100. Um, weight is definitely a big factor when you're trying to loot everything. Alright, so we hit those two locations. Let's go to uh, Shame next. Let's start with this guy here. set. So this pack will have two things on it. Alright. So I'm just going to do that to it. X 
excellent. So I can leave that pack open now. Which one of these? This one. So now when I go to drop this one in the bank, it'll just have everything remaining in it. All the extra regs and arrows and stuff that I'm not selling. And it'll also have all the stuff I'm selling. And there should be a third. There it is. Gotta figure out what areas have things to loot and what, what don't. some stuff inside the mage tower, but I don't really want to mess with a whole pile of evil mages. Um, so there's also some stuff up to the west there, but I'm going to go to the east. Get just a few more things from the east side over here. any of these are, yeah, those are just deco. One of these, I think, yeah, this one. Serpent is actually fairly easy for this character. Just finish him off. Alright. And there didn't used to be anything back here. Um, all of this was deco, but there's now a new area here with a locked door. Um, and I was debating showing on some of these, but you'll run through the dungeon, you'll notice loose ground under a small rock nearby. So you just gotta find the um, rock, move it, and you'll get an open door. And once you're inside, um, you can you can close the doors and then uh, reopen them with these. Like that. But once it's closed on the inside, it'll also read as locked again. Anyways, there is two two chests in here again. Um, this one you can't avoid the trap. A lot of these rooms will have a unavoidable gas trap. That actually does not have very good loot. <laughs> I think, yeah, less than two hundred. Somewhere in here. There it is. A locked treasure. Make sure you're at full health for these ones. If you have disarm trap, it's useful because you can't avoid the trap by uh, stepping away from these ones. Uh, you can, I think, you can use telekinesis at a range from it though. from this one. And those must all be lower scrolls. Yeah. They're worth so little. I don't bother with the weight. Um and then I have another location in shape. Let's go there next. Here it is. And this is one of the common level 4 treasure locations. Get that 
absolutely everything out of there. And then another cool thing here. If I can teleport with these scrolls. Is you can get over to this section. Oof. Might have to do a little bit of a fight. Fight this one then. I wish they'd come up here. With GM resist, they're not terrible. They're just kind of annoying. No way to actually finish them off when they keep running like that. Alright. <laughs> this is taking much longer than I expected. Alright, there's one down. Alright. You guys are running too much for my taste. I'm just gonna go... oh wait, I need to flip the switch first. So this is another great location. You flip the switch there on the platform. My goodness, I have a lot of uh, debuffs on me. And that is going to be raising this wall here. And there is another locked treasure in this room. Oof. Do I have 100 hit points right now? I don't want to open that if I don't. I'll open this one first. Alright, there we go. So these gas-trapped ones that you can't avoid the damage on, they do have a slim chance of platinum that you just saw. So I got a platinum coin from that one. So they are worth looting. Um, it's just on average the amount of gold you get from them is very low. And the items you get are pretty low too. Right, I'm just going to make sure I do have 100 hit points now. I don't have telekinesis scrolls with me. Oh well. Eh. Just take take the damage, it's fine. And then do this before I forget. And then loot. sell at Oclo again. I always want to equip my uh, sword and shield first, otherwise I'm going to end up selling them. With my sell agent. I'll keep this open so you can see. See everything vanish. And that bag looks a whole lot cleaner this time. That's good. Um, I definitely do not want to do the provisioner second, because I'll get overweight selling light gems to him. I lose tons of weight at the uh, blacksmith area. How can I not? Well, I think I sold everything. Oh no, I need to get to the weapon smith. There we go. Sometimes you have to sell to all three of them to get everything. And then the provisioner last. Well, second last. The scrolls with the mages is the last thing I do. together here. 
Most most of the times each run is close to 10k, but not quite. So yeah, uh, 8 to 9k, depending on just what magic items you're selling and stuff. Usually it's junk. Bank that. And then I just toss this in my bank and I'll get it later. I have a lot of these um, empty pouches for just the purpose of these runs. And then I'm going to set this new pouch as my hotkey for um, two bags or two restock agents um, I still got plenty of bandages my weight is under a hundred alright next run uh, let's go to Hifloth location is blocked darn oh uh, Terra Keep then oh Ah, well, you only need 11 to recall. It'll let me do it in a second. Um, actually, let's run around more. Let's do this one. Okay. Alright, so this place is great. It has lots of um, lower level chests. The whole dungeon. I used to start out at the top of the dungeon and work my way down, but you'll go overweight in just this one dungeon very quickly. I think this is the only uh, chest in that section, and there should be two more over here. That one and then the one down there. Champ spawn usually interferes with this, and then the Ogre Lords also interfere with the ability to actually lockpick this area. Because they hit pretty hard. Beating them with a parry dexer is definitely not the solution when you could just use a bunch of blade spirits. Anyways, I'm not going to stay in fight and loot all that uh, the champ spawn. So there's more stuff over there to loot, but I'm not going to plow through a bunch of champ spawn to loot just that. And then there is another locked room down here with a locked door. There's no way to um, there's no way to teleport in there. But there is a way in. Um, and I'll leave that one for other people to find out because you've already seen me loot a few of those rooms. Uh, so moving on, because I already know I'll go overweight by looting the other stuff in this area. Uh, there is more to loot up there where all that stuff is, but like I said, the champ spawn can make this area uh, a disaster to try and lockpick your way through. Um, where do I want to go? I'm going to go in a weird loop here. Oh, I guess I should put this back on. There's just chests sprawled all throughout this place. Um, so you can pick a whole bunch of different paths to get through it. Another chest right here. Can finish off the troll.
so there are lots and lots of locations to loot up on the other levels but I'm gonna get these and then go down uh, towards the acid elementals and if you haven't noticed um, my loot all macro it does take a while to build if you're not going to try and borrow one from another player. But you just, you kind of make a loot all macro by slowly adding every single item you want to it. And it took me a while. Let's see if I can figure out which one it is. Or it'll tell me here. It's either one or five. Restock one. Yeah, that looks like it. So, I mean, this is my primary. Well, not primary, but this is my restock one. And it just has so many items in it. Oh, I guess it would help if it was all in the video. Yeah. My restock five has a lot less stuff in it. Still quite a bit. A lot of... Um, this is like NOH stuff. Rolled map, map. Some rares in there in case they pop up. Anyways, yeah, all gems, everything's set to like 99 usually, or 999. Alright, anyways, back to uh, looting stuff. So going down towards the acids, I'm going to run into a few more chests. That's one of them. I think, yeah, that's another one. And you're never going to find anything like rare, uh, rare or crazy in these regular ones. There's no chance of plat, there's no chance of rares, nothing like that. It's purely done, you're just running by picking up everything you can to get um, just the loot so you can sell it. those two. Oh, sorry. Um, where was I headed next? Oh, yes. Acids. I'm going to ignore him for now. No, there's nothing up there. That's one. Mm, I think it's just this one then. Someone trapped one of the uh, acid elementals out. Maybe the chests will be open for the looting. Ooh, both of them are trapped out. Hmm. Someone's uh, drugged them off from the main pool so that they can loot the uh, level 4 chest. So there's a crate there I wanted to loot. Oh, there's two actually. I wonder if I run by him quick enough if he won't aggro. Looks like it might have worked. Alright, so there's two chests I can get here. Definitely going to want to repair this weapon later. That was fast. Yeah, so this is the level 4 chest. And level 4 chests do have, uh, by default, a chance at platinum, so it's good to loot them. Also because people loot them, or go around like crazy, um, to get GM lockpicking from them. Looks like I'm just far enough away that he's not going to try to attack me. And I am almost overweight. 
So I'm gonna have to head out after this chest. There are more. There's another level four chest down in the Cyclops Titan area, uh, but I'm not gonna bother with that one at the moment. Just drink another strength potion, and then go back and sell. sold and these all sell for slightly higher than regular stuff because they're all magic items just a sell spam of text And if you do these runs too quickly, and you're using one provisioner or one jeweler to sell your stuff, um, they will stop buying. So I usually don't do too many runs all at once. Alright, everything else looks like it's a keep item, except we'll go drop bone armor out here in case new players want it or something. Magic bone armor. Um, don't need to keep that. Just make bandages. That should be it. I'll keep the strength potions on me. Bank. See, that time it was only 7,000 gold. Not very much. Alright, we are back. Um, I was able to recall into my Hithlath location. Which normally has gazers at it when I jump in here, but right now they've been pulled away. So I can unlock this. Get started with the loot macro. Oh. Wrong key. There we go. Alright. Uh, so the a lot of rooms like this have tons and tons of these containers. You just gotta click around and see which ones are lootable. This is at least one wooden chest that's gonna be lootable. read as a barrel. Um, they're not actually locked containers. Alright, and since I'm already in this area, I can loot whatever else there is to loot down here. I don't think there's much. No, I don't think there's anything in this room. there. Oh. Just get through this area. There's a little teleportation maze back there. But if you know your way through it's not too bad. Someone's at ball runs. So there are some chests back there, but that area is usually covered in monsters, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bother with that. Run through here. Um, I think one of those ones in there is lootable. Maybe not. Oh, there's one, but it's just a crate. I'm not gonna go for that. And then in here. Which one of these is it? It's the barrel. Ah. Of course, both of these guys attack me at once. That's gonna be painful. Ooh, more 
found down here. Is there anything bootable down here? I usually don't go quite this deep into hit floor. buffs on me too. Usually a demon is not that hard for this character, but today... strength and dex pots I'd be using them. But I only have one of each, so I'm not gonna use them for this fight. Well I don't really need to finish this fight. Anyways, there is a hidden room up there. Ooh. Close one. So there's another, um, like, locked hidden room up there, but uh, I'm gonna get out of that location. Hifloth is, uh, just a little bit difficult for a Peridexer. I'm gonna go to Terrakeet next. Alright, so this place has a few good chests in um, kind of what you might call the treasure room. With this one. Oh, keep hitting the wrong key. There we go. And um, so there's two down in the pit usually here, and then one more up top. And then... There's a few other places in Terra Keep you can get some loot. You can run around, but this is kind of a similar situation to Hithloth, where my character is not the best fit to run around in an area like this, because there's some really difficult stuff. Just like this guy. dragged some Avengers down here. I could drag an Orphidian or two up um, to make them attack each other. But I'm not going to bother with all that. Um, there's not really much to the west of here. I think there's like one or two treasure chests. Mostly the stuff is up this way north where the Balrons and everything is. Wait, this place is so empty. Oh, you know what? They probably did a, um, someone probably did a horror war here recently. So they emptied out the whole swamp. That's smart. I'm not going to mess with all that right now. 
So up that way is the Balron room. I'll just show you really quick. And hopefully not get attacked by a hundred things. Wh where are the Balrons? Oh, there's one, two of them. Okay. They're here. Before I go try to get those. Let's do this. These guys like to do fun combinations like double flame strikes on you. Yeah, so it's just these two chests in the middle area. Oh, and look, a deer mask. It should be on my auto loot. I guess it's not. to overweight here. But it's, it's all good. Alright, yeah, so it's just those two chest, chests, and um, I was lucky enough to get them on this character. I usually don't. Come this way. Oh, goodness. Nothing's attacking me, thank goodness. Alright, and there's another um, locked room up here. Um, you have to figure out how to open that door. And there is a door. I know it doesn't look like it, but you can get in there. Um, that has more of the treasure types for the locked rooms. Coming this way is the champ spawn up. I don't remember. Is there? I think there's something down here. an active chest? Huh, it is. Oh, great, I got that caster following me. Okay, just try and get this and then get out. Problem is, while I'm doing the loot macro, I can't activate another bandage. So I am a little overweight, but I took a strength potion. I'm just gonna run this way and check for a treasure. Don't kill me, Avengers. Oof. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else to be looted in this area. Also, not one of the first areas I would recommend running around. <laughs> I think that's it for this area. Um, yeah. Alright, well, I guess I'm going off to Aklo now. And it's time to do more selling. All the leather goods are sold. if I can make over 7,000 this time again. And doing this, dude, I have like, I have a entire stack of 
60k arrows. Um, at least, at least one stack of bolts and arrows. Because you see, each time I do these runs, I get another bunch of arrows, sometimes as many as 100. I mean, it helps with regs, it helps with everything, if you just do all this loot all stuff. And you occasionally get stuff like these masks. There's also a chance I could get a, uh, a bone mask. Or helm. No, see, these are all magic. You gotta check to see what they are. Yeah. Because there's bone masks and orc helms that are non-magic and they can be dyed. So make sure you check for those. Um, but yeah, I think that's just about it. I'll put these potions in my pack for my potions. Let's use more of those. And yeah. The rest of this stuff is just random keep stuff I'll put away later. How much gold did I make? Eh, 7,500. Just leave that one there. Uh, I guess I'll put this deer mask away. Fill up on recall scrolls, and it should be good. Oh, you know what? This character has a few items that need repairing. I'm just going to do that really quick and then I'll head out to, I think, the last set I have. Let's see my book. I have Fire, Deceit. I could use them. Repair the shield. Oh, the sword and the chest piece. Oh. Oh, it's studded, that's why. Alright, I'll try to repair this thing. Alright. Uh... Let's go to fire. Oh, lucky me. The liches are outside the main room. Oh. <laughs> Set this as my hot bag. Okay. Yes, I know it's all too far away. Let's try that again. This location is really nice for even this type of character, because even with the lich in here, as long as it's not a lich lord, I can usually take it out and loot all the surrounding area. So from just this one spot, I get like almost enough loot to go back, I think. There's going to be this crate, that one, another one. So there's also a lot of chests over on the evil mage area, but running through there with this character is just going to get me killed. Oh, 
kind of bother with that right now. There's a few other uh, chests down here on fire level 2, I'll show you. Okay, so everything's looted in this side. Let's hop over here. So like I said, Evil Mages is good if you want to do the recall directly into a thing. Whew, there's a lot of junk in this area. Alright, well I'm not going to bother with that right now. I'm just going to move right up here. So there's these two things to loot. is of course right next to the Efreets with all the wonderful lava. Come on, reflect. And then um, there's nothing in there. Just the fire elementals. And then back here, you have another area you have to figure out how to get into. Okay, and that's most of it for fire level two. And like I said, it gives it gets you almost enough to go back into a cell. Okay, champ's not up right now. That's useful. Is there anything back here? I don't think so. No. I know there's something in this direction. The demons are usually too close to it. Yeah. Oof. And there's a whole bunch of uh, old champs spawn there. Alright. That's... I'm gonna head out. <laughs> So there are a few little things on uh, fire level 1 you can get, but running back through all that old champ spawn is just going to get me killed. I need to loot stuff near a lich, so I need to get that fight started. Anyways, there is another locked room here with treasure in it. I'm not going to need to fight that witch a third time, though. Uh, oof, I'm not going to bother looting that one right now. Just get out of here. Alright, so Deceit has some cool stuff. Uh, lots of little chests all over the place. Uh, not in here, I don't think. Maybe. Oh yeah, there's one right here. I'm um, definitely not going to make it all the way through Deceit, just because I already have a whole lot of weight on me. But this is one of the better locations for this character, because um, the monsters are easier and like, even over there at level 
one where there's just skeletons. There's plenty of loot. Uh, more just regular skeletons and stuff over here. And loot. Hmm. No, no trap. Interesting. No trap that I saw, at least. There's a wooden, there's a thing here, and then there's another chest down there. There's another one up there, but I'm going to skip it because I'm trying to get through to the bottom level. If the champ spawn's not active. Um, so going this way, I think there's two chests in that direction. Uh, there's one more back that way. Hmm, I thought there might be one over here. I guess not. Ooh, yeah, this stuff is... Just get past it. There is a chest here, but I'm not trying to get that right now because I don't have enough weight capacity. Obviously, um, down there at the Lich, the main Lich Lord's room, there's a level 4 chest and some good stuff. Um, over there is another one of the locked rooms you have to find a way to get into. And the final thing I'm looking to loot is going to be somewhere here. Think. Oh wait, is that it? No? Okay. I thought there was one in here, in this hallway. Guess I'm wrong. Okay. Uh, Alright, well I just need to get out then. <laughs> oh, here it is. and get out. Oh, my strength did give out. That's fine. Just do another strength pot. And with that, we are off to Oklo. stuff here. Anyone who wants it. Okay. Get free recall scrolls there. 
some regs and potions and stuff. And I think that's about it. So yeah, that should cover it for my, oh, let's see how much gold I got. Ooh, over 8,000 that time. That's good. I was a bit overweighted. Um, yeah, but that should be about it for this video. Get this, get my other loot pack. Um, yeah, I really don't know how much money I made. I'm not going to add it all up. If I did five drops, 8,000, I don't know, maybe 30 or 40K, somewhere in that neighborhood for the, the whole run. Um, yeah, and it's also great because, I mean, you just, get, you just get tons of regs and all kinds of stuff from it. So, yeah, that is the new uh, dungeon treasure hunting um, with locked rooms and hidden rooms and all kinds of fun stuff. There are around 50 locked and hidden, hidden locations all throughout the world, so have fun looking for those and have fun uh, dungeon treasure hunting. I'll see you guys next time.